hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, TNT, D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T. What, what up, Joni? Oh, you know, dude, just hanging out, doing podcasts, making the world love I see you itself. over here. I see you over here, Podden. I see you. I'm not going to say that because I don't want to put that term in your mouth. What term in my <laughs> mouth? <laughs> I was going to say, I see you, baby. Shaking that. I was like, wait a second. I'm not going to call you, baby. You're talking about shaking your ass. It was going to be <laughs> a, a pop culture joke from 1990. That is not pop culture. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to Boomer Talk. <laughs> no, I refuse. I will stop being on here if we're turning our name to Boomer Talk. <laughs> crazy town boomers. Because I am the furthest thing from the boomer. <clears throat> uh, sometimes. Yeah, most so, of the time most, most all right time. thank you for joining us today on the crazy town podcast please make sure to uh, subscribe over on crazy town media on our youtube channel or follow us on spotify or itunes or you know anywhere else there's podcasts under crazy town podcast also my friend over here has something to tell you about himself <laughs> motherfucker if you want to hang out with us live or at least tnt dynamite yeah. come on over to tnt dynamite d-i-n-o-m-i-g-h-t underscore crazy town on twitch every weekday at nine o'clock AM. I'm streaming games. I'm talking to the public. I like to touch the people. Maybe you'll catch Jonas sitting in his lap. Wait, what? <laughs> no, you will not. You will not catch that. You better tune in to see. That that is no. That's not better tune in to see. <laughs> you can't you can't promise these people they, they, they pop in they're like where's jonas you're like he ain't here no dude you can't promise the people Things homosexual intimacy <laughs> and not deliver <laughs> remember what our improv teacher <laughs> yeah. said if you're gonna do some shit you gotta do he some goes, shit if you if you, you got commit if you're gonna commit <laughs> you gotta do some shit <laughs> do if you're gonna shit. do some shit you must commit yeah all right man so we have, um, we all, we all got, well, or are getting, or will get eventually, well, not all of us, most of us, $1,200 from the government. Yep, I got mine, fam. Uh, me too. Uh, the sad part about it is, that's not really going to cover people's bills, rent. <laughs> like, by the time some people get it, they're already going to be more than a month behind on their stuff, because yeah. they have no money, they haven't got through the unemployment line with 12 million other folks. It's hard out here. It's hard out here. Um, there is a new bill that has been introduced into Congress. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was Tim Ryan from Ohio and check out this person's name. I think they're a female. Ro Khanna. Ro Khanna? <laughs> Ro is the first name. Khanna is the second name. Isn't that an awesome name? <laughs> yeah, it sounds made up though. It's like Sinbad. It sounds, but it's actually two Sinbad. names. Well, they're from California. Okay. Um, and I found more about, about this actually this morning. They want to um, do basically universal income. $2,000 a month up to $5,500 a month for married couples with up to three kids, I believe. Yeah, y'all ain't getting that. Um, through up For up to 12 months, you know, while this pandemic is kind of like working its way out and things are getting back to normal. Mm -hmm. Also with this, the other part, a second bill has been introduced to suspend rent and mortgage payments for an entire year. Ooh, and, I like that. and set up a fund for like the landlord so they can still get their money from the government. Yeah. And it would retro back to the middle of March. So they said if you paid your rent for mm. April, you would get that money back. Oh. Yeah. yeah so so like cool. Yeah, like and they said uh I'm so that's chilling. the other bill. Those are the two bills they're trying to pass. So either one would provide relief to people. Cause I mean, like, um, you know, I mean, house payments and rent is pretty much the biggest expense of anyone. Yeah. You know, you're yeah, talking, absolutely. you're talking, you know, at least close to a thousand dollars a month, even if you split a apartment or a house or somebody, something with somebody. So what are the chances of any of that actually happening? Um, I think the longer it goes on, the more. <laughs> I mean, Jonas, we're open already, dude. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> By the time this video airs, guess what? We're open. Actually, I think, I think, yeah, this video, I think, will come out on yeah, the day that. It's <laughs> but it's not. It's not like open. full, full open. Like it's not just oh. like it, Lady Gaga's coming to Stubbs to have a oh. concert that night. Hands across America. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I can redo it, dude. Yeah, dude. We survived. We made it, dude. Yeah. They, uh, but no, dude. I. But they said like this money wouldn't be taxable. If so, it would be straight pure into your pocket. You wouldn't have to pay taxes on it. Mm -hmm. 
I will take twenty four thousand dollars for free. Uh, yeah. And if they it. take my rent out, we'll be talking probably like closer to like thirty thirty k in my pocket for the for the. They're gonna say twenty twenty is shut down, but we're gonna give you like thirty k. <laughs> I would be like fair. Yeah, man. <laughs> I would put that right back into the economy. yeah. I I would use that as a down payment on a house because all <laughs> condo. Condo, yeah, condo, probably, yeah. Something. But yeah, dude. Or buy a brand new car. Sell it. No. <laughs> sell it. Nobody's <laughs> I'm, buying I'm cars. Just, I'm just being an asshole. <laughs> but yeah, dude. I mean, I think if anything comes from, because I know some other countries were going to do it. Like, I think uh, Spain and uh, Canada were yeah. going to give their uh, citizens money every month. Yeah, and then probably. our country, one of the most wealthy countries in the world, was like, we'll give y'all one $1,200 payment. Man, I think all that most wealthiest country on the world shit is all just on the surface, fam. <laughs> I think, I think a lot, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. We, we, but the thing, it's weird because, and I think everybody lets us keep that because we, we give other people so much money. We, we give a lot of other countries aid. Yeah, there's a so lot of that. Like, it's not as, it's not as much as it used to be. Oh, though. no, especially not in current climate. Yeah, it's not as much as it used I to mean, be. I mean, we're taking away our funding from the WHO in the middle of a pandemic. <laughs> Probably because we can't afford to fund them anymore. Yeah, we, <laughs> Let's just be real. When it comes to the fact that, what was it? What what was the country that was sending us a bunch of medical supplies? Russia. Was No. Russia sent us a plane full of medical supplies. Was it Russia? It I was. thought it was like Switzerland or something. No, no, it was Russia. They sent a big old plane over. When When did that happen? Like a couple weeks ago. No, there was one Trump that was Putin, more. They called up. He's like, "Hey, homie." No, there was another one that was more recent. But yeah, either way, when we're receiving medical aid, supplies, yeah, you know something's up. Yeah, dude. I mean, I think a lot of it's a front. Um, but yeah, it's a. Uh, I mean, yeah. Well, they're, and they're like, they're talking about like giving everybody two thousand dollars a month will cost like five trillion dollars, and they're talking about taking away rent being another like three trillion. We just did. Two trillion. What's ten trillion dollars, dude? What is it? <laughs> just whatever. We'll just, we'll just print ten trillion dollars off and and people and we've t have we talked about the fact of like this money just don't come out of nowhere, right? So where it ain't like we got ten ten trillion in the bank. We're where's just gonna be the like, money coming from? I don't know, dude. They just make it. <laughs> <laughs> so if they just so saturate the economy with ten trillion dollars. So if they just make money, we got to talk about the ramifications of just printing off a bunch of money. It makes the value go down. It dilutes the USD, and essentially the dollar won't be worth as much. Not only everywhere else in the world, but in our own country. Right. This is the basis for inflation. Right, but I think in this circumstance, it may have an opposite effect because because there's no money being spent. People aren't making money, yeah. so it's like we're almost keeping the economy afloat with the money that people would be making. But since the country's shut down, mm -hmm. it's like so we're not making the money that we normally make. So the government's like giving it to us like we are, so the economy can function as normal. So I think it may not have the same effect as if like. Like if everybody was, if everything was like the same as it was at the end of last year, and the government's like, "Here, everybody, here's two grand a month." Like I think that would like do that. But I think right now, I think it might help it from crashing. I'm not sure because we're not making people aren't making money. Yeah, like Vegas is just. Lying. Oh yeah, Vegas is out there crying. Yeah, dude, Vegas, New York, man. A lot, a lot, a lot of, lot of people are feeling this, Jonas. Me and you, not so much, man. We've actually been lucky enough where we've maintained both of our extracurricular jobs, right? Because like, this is our main job, obviously. Yeah, like, Pot, yeah, right, right, right. Like, yeah, like my main, my main thing is honestly been like I'm bored, but like people have stuff way worse than I do. Like I'm still yeah. working. I'm still like, yeah. you know, I pay, I pay my rent, dude. I did. Yeah. I did not skimp on my rent. Car payment made. Right. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. And lucky enough to, have, you know, it's like I, I, it's bad for everybody, but like lots of people have it way worse right. than we do. And I try to like think about that when I'm like bored, and I'm like, you know, being bored is way better than what could be going on right now. You I could, could be on a ventilator. Food. What? You could be on a ventilator. Right, exactly. I could not have money to eat and just be starving. So, yeah, but, you know, 2K for everybody. And that would even hit, it said, like, anyone 16 and older, even if you're claimed as a, like, everybody would get it. Because, like, 
the young kids that are claimed by their parents right now didn't get that stimulus because if you were claimed as a dependent, you don't qualify. Yeah. So does. it would boost the economy for sure. You give a 16 year old kid two thousand dollars, he's spending that ish on microtransactions. Yeah, they put it right back into the economy. But I don't. I just don't know if that benefits the. It seems like it wouldn't work properly. I don't know. Yeah, it seems like somebody's losing on one end because you're just taking just money from the air, <laughs> right? <laughs> And putting it back into America. It seems like a Band-Aid. There you go. It, there you go. And like, what's going to happen when the Band-Aid falls off? Is it going to be good? Or are we going to be like, oh-ish, we need more of this? And I wonder about like the taxable implications of it, man. If you take this money, come on. Like, we, we don't have to pay taxes on it, but are our taxes going to go up? Like, like we're going to be taxed on our income then. Yeah, even this 1200 man, We do we have to pay that back? Is that getting paid back? I feel like it is. One way or another. They haven't said that it isn't, which makes me think No, they that have it said it isn't. But they, they said that the twelve hundred is not taxable. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. Well, yeah, because, yeah, yeah. It, but uh but Forgive me for not believing them. But, but no, but it's gonna come back in some way because it's gonna be we're gonna be taxed on something else. Uh yeah. So we're gonna have to pay it back, but not directly pay it back. Well, if if I, what if I don't want it? Then just keep it. Yeah, and I love that part too. Like you couldn't say you don't want it. Exactly. Yep. All right. Well, f the government. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no. We were supposed to never talk about the situation. We've just gone into full situation talk. This is like this isn't a, this is about stuff in regard. This is like economy and stuff. This isn't like talking about people getting sick and whatnot. All right. It's man. roundaboutly. So it's it's situation light. Yeah, but it's not diet situation. Yeah. Talk. Yeah. It's not glo gloom and doom talk though. Oh, I would hope we wouldn't approach it like that anyway. Well, in more situation news, Jonas. Yeah. We want to talk about how the fuck the WWE managed to become an essential business. Dude, watching people do stunts is an essential thing. It's, Jonas, it's a min it's, how do you, what kind of show is this? It's just like an acrobatic show. It really is, yeah. It's basically the fucking circus. It kind of is, yes. It's the circus. So how's the circus deemed an essential business? It's, they, the, it's the circus without, like... Without animals? Yeah. Without pachyderms and lions and type robots? Now, if they did WWE and they had lions row in the arena? Yeah. That'd be interesting I'm shit. I'm sure a guy in WWE has a lion tattoo. So <laughs> technically, there are lions. And they a tiger. Walk, they walked a type rope. Oh, there you go. Yeah. The greatest show on earth. Oh, All yeah. They jump through the air like trapeze artists. Yeah. Ah, yeah. All right. So Dana Dana White, uh, he wanted to do UFC. They From a fucking island. He was going to rent his own personal island and do it there. Um, they said no. But you know, who, you know who vetoed that? Disney and ESPN. No, because okay. like I Fair read enough. that he was all for it. It was all good. And then it said the highest level of people at Disney contacted him. We're like, no, which kind of leads you to think is like who, which business is making more the WWE. It's been around longer than, than UFC. Yeah. So you think that, well, cause it comes down to money. All right. So let's just <laughs> get into it. The, right. the, uh, Governor of Florida, yes, is Mr. DeSantos. He's not, he's made a lot of really good decisions. Ron DeSantos. Yeah, he's made some good ones, dude. He has made some quality choices. He let spring break happen. The spring break occurred. Uh, beaches in Florida were open for a very long time, and they're open at the tiring of this video. Yeah, they're open now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I saw people flock to him too. There was pictures. Everyone, everyone was staying six foot. Of yeah, bullshit. Yeah. You know, Joe, and it's funny because I lived in Florida for a few years. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the beach culture there is very strong, and it's it's unlike any other like uh, subset of culture I've ever seen. There are literally people that go to the beach every day, and it is just a part of their daily routine. Well, right, because it's like, yeah. Because like, you can. You can. Right. Because of the weather. And I'm sure in California it's similar. Yeah, probably. Like I can see coast, that. Coastal people, I can yeah. see that. But there's like beach bums. That's the whole reason that the word beach bum is the thing is because... It's there are people who literally wake up and go to the beach and hang out at the beach yeah. all fucking day, so every I, day. I can see why people would be... Uh, they would feel like they're at a loss because of their... Yeah, and they're like, oh, we're outside. Can't ca can't catch the situation outside. Exactly. Well, meh. I, right. can, I just could see how people feel like losing their access to the beach is a problem. Right, right, right. Well, it turns out that Ron DeSantos... 
or DeSantis, DeSantis, whatever. He is a big, big, big friend with the uh, current administration. Uh, the, the POTUS has made countless the band uh, members, the trumpet quartet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you damn right. He's he's in there. The POTUS can, can actually be accredited with some of the nice things that he said in getting Ron DeSantos' job. And for oh, him you know, it. sometimes yeah, I've never heard of a political figure helping another political figure get employment. It never happens, John. Really? First yeah. time ever. Yeah. It doesn't happen in real life, and it doesn't happen in fake life, uh, fucking fantasy political land. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've never helped a friend get a job. Nope. Nope, no one has ever helped anyone I know get a job ever. I mean, and I'm not against that. That's not nepotism because that's like family oriented. What yeah, do you yeah. call it? It's just like, I mean, sometimes it's about who you know, and that's just and that's what it just what it is. It is kind of what it is. It's, it's favoritism though to a certain. Level. I mean, like I work in a big corporation and they have an employee referral system. Mm -hmm. Like that's kind of like, hey, look at this guy, see if you want to hire him. Like it's the same sort exactly. of thing. Exactly. So I get money for that to be honest. So <laughs> so the major a major uh WWE uh they're they're stationed in Florida. So they they, they have a big uh, training center there. That's what their it headquarters is. is in Connecticut, but they have a big training center in Florida. Okay, cool. They have a training center in Florida. Turns out that the POTUS has also been on wrestling countless times. He's, he's actually in the Hall of Fame. He's in the Hall of Fame. Yep. So he has and, ties to the dub dub. Him and Vinny Mac, you know, they're buddy buddy. Yep. It also turns out that Vince McMahon's his, wife, Vince McMahon's wife, Linda, uh, Linda McMahon, uh, she served the president as an administrator of the Small Business Administration from 2017 to 2019. Because she knows a lot about small business. Because WWE, small business. And, uh, you know, she is the chairwoman of the America First Action that's sole sanctioned pro Trump super PAC. Oh. So, yeah. And it's the funny enough that the day that they decide to make the WWE. Day before. The day before. <laughs> yeah. You're right. You're right. The day before. They didn't want to make it look fishy, dude. They, they didn't want anything to look fishy. They the day just before. slid eighteen million dollars. <laughs> what was it for? The Republican uh, twenty twenty reelect uh, yeah. pack. No, so, dude. There's no coincidence there. A little, no, it was a little bit. No, there's a little bit. So you know, I could see Mr. DeSantis receiving a little pressure, like, "Hey, Ron." Buddy, yeah, buddy, pal. Snooky. Hey, do you know you know the president? I know the president. Right. Make my business uh, essential business. Yeah, we can't be losing that money. Go. What What about basketball and football and hockey and baseball and UFC? Yeah, but wrestling though. Re when you think of America's sport, WWE <laughs> fucking kills me. Yeah, dude. It's just a little. It's a little shady, and it's done so blatantly and so openly that it's just it's it's a little shady, and it feels that way. And it seems like if the health, if like these these guys, just because they're healthy and they're wrestlers, it doesn't mean that they should that their health matters any less than anybody else's. Right. And the and what's funny is about that is the WWF just went and cut like I think it was like fifteen. Wrestlers, so they fired a bunch of guys. Fired a bunch of guys. Fired yeah. like uh, like producers and like behind the scenes kind of like guys, and, and not even to mention the people who sell concessions, the people who yeah. clean the arena, ticket takers, ushers, security doesn't need to be as drivers. They're like the businesses being out of commission is affecting a lot more people, right? But yeah. starting but them up, I saw some uh, like uh, basketball players and stuff were donating money to like pay some of the stadium workers that weren't working. I've yeah. seen some people have yeah. done that, which was cool. Yeah, but it's 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 hard out there, man. But I, I definitely don't agree with you being able to slide somebody eighteen million dollars and getting your business open. Maybe it's because I don't have eighteen million dollars, and I'd be like, hey, look, I just slid this dude eighteen million dollars. I should get whatever I want. And I that know. is how the world works. And that is why the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. <laughs> because they're like, the people who don't have $18 million are like, this is bullshit. People who have $18 million are like, yeah, I get what I want. <laughs> I mean, right? I mean, you're not wrong, Joe. <laughs> right, I hate right, to be right. so blunt about something, but I mean, that's kind of what it is, man. It's, yeah. it's not.
I don't say I like it, but I feel like the last few years have been kind of that's kind of been the whole mantra of what's happened. Yeah, but like then what's what's the answer? Uh, November's what's, coming up. What's the answer? Nothing. This is gonna happen forever. Just, what, what I would I would love to get into get into some political views because it, it's very common for 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 Republicans to. Uh, prioritize the economy, businesses over kind of over the people. It is, and like on paper, it makes sense because the livelihood of the country is more the, important than any one person. Is more important than any one person, right. and essentially, if we are eating our vegetables by cultivating these businesses in the country now, in the long run, it'll be beneficial to everybody. Right. They talk about trickle down. Trickle down is not like drop it a half, snap the fingers. I give this company some money. They're going to give you some money. It takes time and it, it happens over time. Whereas Democrats are more like we need to focus on people. We need to centralize on the people. And then and, in turn, the people will go out and, and spend money and take care of the business. Yeah, the people will spend the money in the country. Thus providing so it's like it's two sides of the same coin it's like all the fiduciary gain monetization gain versus you know at what cost you lose a little bit of your humanity because you got people like hey right. you're helping out all the business but you're not helping us right. on the other end of the coin you got businesses don't want to necessarily come here because you're giving all the breaks to the people right. it's like one sounds way more harsh because it's in terms of like but they're people, they're humans, yeah. and, and you're putting money over people. Yeah. And then the other side of it, they're like, you need business so your people can survive. Yes. Like, so it's like, so it's like, I see where it's coming from. Yes. It just sounds so harsh to be like, we have this terrible thing going on. Let's open the economy up. You know what I mean? It just seems <laughs> that, that's crazy. Well, it, yeah, it this, seems, this instance is crazy. Right. It just seems like, you know, you're just like, people going to die. <laughs> Because of you know, because of that, you know, it's like I don't know, man. I just hypothetically, if we had a Democrat in office now, I'm not gonna say Obama, but I'm just saying if we had a Democrat in someone in, with Democratic views, I wonder how this would be different. I mean, obviously, we can get into the way that the current POTUS likes to convey himself in in language. Yeah, bedside manner aside, just yes. like processes. Yes. Yeah, I feel you. I don't, and I, honestly, it, I don't know. It feels like his his whole mindset the whole time on everything has been economy. And it, I mean, his whole presidency, it's been about, look at the stock market. You know what I mean? And yeah, I, fair, I get fair it. enough. I get it. The country's stock market was in the best case, best state it had ever been. Mm-hmm. And then a unforeseen event. unforeseen event that crippled the entire world's economy happened. Duh. You know, it's it's it's. it's yeah. I mean, who knows how it would have been different? It's got to be rough, man. I'm not saying that it's not a difficult job, but just because the job is hard does not absolve you from uh, criticism. Exactly. Exactly. I was like, I make this, I make this analogy on uh, on other videos that I've done, where I talk about if you think of a person who drives a semi truck, their license is harder to get, easier to lose. They have way more regulation than a person who's driving a car. Right. So by that means, a person who drives a semi truck, who like their vehicle could cause way more damage, and they have way more responsibility. They are under closer scrutiny and under closer regulation, and they are judged more harshly on their job than a person who just drives a regular car. Right. Absolutely. So by that means, if your job is harder, yes, you're going to get more criticism. Right. People are going to say you're doing a bad job, even though you might not be doing a bad job. You got to do the best job you can well, do. Well, right. And it's another thing of like one semi accident when you've, you've been driving 20 years Yes. You perfect, flawless, but you have one misstep yes. and you cause a fifty car pileup on the freeway you and kill lose, a bunch you of losing your license, right? Or like a doctor, you do a thousand successful surgeries, exactly. you botch one surgery, yep, your name is smeared. But like, nobody's gonna nobody's gonna complain if the nurse gets a bad blood pressure. Right. Nobody's gonna complain, but right. that's that's the scope of the scope of practice. Exactly, one job is way more. Just you more can, more damage could be done. If you're not doing this job properly. Right. 
So I feel like it's all the criticism that that he gets is is a hundred percent warranted, uh, and people are allowed to to have their opinions on it. Mm-hmm. Whether it's good or bad, man. Yep. Like Good or bad. Yeah, dude, you're allowed to have your opinion, so. Yes, the job but, is hard, but. But you know, you know a job isn't hard. Pardon? Make, you make this job feel easy, friend. You make my job <laughs> feel so, easy. So, but that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe on our YouTube channel under Crazy Town Media. Or if you uh, prefer just to listen to our sultry tones piercing your eardrums mm. with the s- Solid lubricated thrusts. Mm. Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, everywhere else. Or if you want to watch this guy live, join me live. TNT Dynamite underscore Crazy Town every morning at nine. Ooh. All right, but we'll catch you on the next one from Jonas. TNT Dynamite. We are Ota.